I'm going to attempt to do a tutorial on a flat twist updo that I'm going to do. Um, I actually was inspired by another natural on YouTube. I don't remember her name, but I am going to give her a shout out in the description box below on my video. So make sure you guys watch her video because the style is so cute on her and her hair color is really pretty. So it came out actually pretty nice. So I'm going to attempt to do something like that. Not exactly, but we'll see. Um, and I'm not the greatest flat twister either. So this is going to be very interesting. Um, I will be using rubber bands which I hate, but in order to achieve this style, I have to. And Echo Styler Gel, which I also hate, but like I said, to achieve this style, I have to. Um, and I'm also gonna be using my homemade shea butter pomade mix on my hair. And basically, I'm going to, I just got out of the shower, so my hair is literally, is dripping wet. Uh, yesterday I did a Amla, Brahmi, Neem, and Chicago treatment and left that on for like three, almost four hours. And uh, mixing that, I had all of those hennas, and then I had um, coconut oil, olive oil, grapeseed oil, and then I mixed some of my Be Mine avocado cream conditioner in there. So it made a nice thick like pudding type paste and left that on. And so my hair is feeling like really awesome right now. Uh, I don't have any leave-in conditioner or anything on yet. I'm gonna put that on. And um, I'm going to flat twist my sides up and then leave my hair down the center for twists. Um, in her video, she has flat twists all the way going down. I'm not going to flat twist my hair back here only because I'm not the greatest at flat twisting. So I think this will be a little bit difficult for me back here. So I'm just going to flat twist to probably about here on my hair. And then the rest are just going to be twists and then I'll pin them all up. So... I'm actually going to put my leave-in on and flat twist one side of my head and then I'll come back to you guys and show you a couple of flat twists on this side just to show you how I do my flat twist and then I'll come back and show you a few two strands that I'll do in the front and then I'll come back and show you guys how I pin it up and then show you the finished style so I will see you guys in a little bit. Hey okay, guys so I'm done with this one side let me see if I can show you. Um, this was not fun, you know, it was a lot easier doing flat twists when I was relaxed. <laughs> I hate them now. I've had to start over I don't know how many times because uh, some of them were too big and uh, blah, 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 blah. So I finally made my way to the other side of my head. And I did the front one already. Um, I'm going to put a little more... Go Styler Gel on the edge there. Okay. Now, um, I've already rubbed Shea Butter Pomade off th all throughout the this section. I'm just putting a little echo, and I just put it on the outer part. And I don't use a whole lot because I don't I don't like gel. All right, and I get my rubber band ready. I always have it in my mouth ready to go. <laughs> All right, and then I just twist. Let me see if I can show you. Uh oh, let me start over. Okay. Now when I get to the top, I keep twisting up only because it's easier for me to pull this through the rubber band while I twist it like this. Get my rubber band as close to my scalp as possible. Oh, let me undo it. Okay. And then I just keep Pulling my hair through the rubber band until it's as tight as I want it. And I have to make it tight in order for it to stay. And that's it. My hair is drying, so, or pretty much dry in a lot of areas already. So I keep my spray bottle of water handy because I can only manipulate my hair and part it when it's soaking wet. So 
I've got my Okay, so I'm done flat twisting the sides. Here's the other side. And now I'm going to two strand twist all of this. I'm going to start out with maybe medium sized ones up front. And as I get towards the back, I'll make them a little bigger. Um, only because I don't feel like doing a whole bunch of twisting. So, yeah. Um, I spritz my hair up front to dampen it because, like I said, my hair is drying or is dry in certain areas. Um, I do not part my hair when I twist. I finger part, pull hair apart. I mean, as you can see, it's already difficult enough to pull hair apart just to get a section to twist. So, to part it, way too much time. Even finger parting takes forever. And that section's still a little too small. <laughs> All right. No gel or anything, just pomade. Shea butter pomade. I rub it all the way down my twist. Make sure I get the ends really good. This is actually a lot smaller than what I wanted. But I'm not going to show you guys all of these. You get the gist. Just twisting all the way down to almost the end. I twist really tight too, so it takes me a long time. And when I get close to the end, I don't twist all the way down. I just wrap my hair, twirl it around my finger. That's number one. And I'll do all of these and then come back and show Hey guys, so I'm pretty much almost done. I've already pinned the back up and I'm now pinning the last few twists in the front. I'm trying to figure out how I want these to lay. And I'm gonna pin these. Tuck in these ends. I'll show you guys what it looks like in the back here in a second. In the top. So, there's the top. Side. Here's the back. Thank you.